Okay, for this project, I'm going to show you how to do a towel topper. These are great um, to make for your towels that you really like. This one I just did for a coffee towel that I had, and I chose this color to match the coffee cup and the beautiful white flower and then just a ribbon to go through. So the one that we're going to do on video, I chose this towel to use because I have a little pot holder that's a um, rooster. So, and I found this towel that had a rooster on it. And then you're also going to need the yarn color. And for this one, I tried to match the green in the color and I'm using the Karen Simply Soft. And this is a dark sage green. And then I also chose this color for the flower. And I'm using the hand knitting yarn for baby projects. And I got it from Big Lots. But this color is kind of a yellowish color. It doesn't have the name on here. So it has like a yellowish tint to it. And then I just have the ribbon that I'm going to use. I like to use the, um, the kind of a shimmery type of ribbon in the project. So this is just celebrated ribbon. And I'm using a um, J hook or six millimeter crochet hook. And you need your tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to line up your towel how you want it. So you can go ahead and open it up. And here you can see, you can sometimes iron it too, but I can see mine pretty well. But we're going to do an embroidery stitch along this line, which will be the halfway mark for the towel. So you can go ahead and just fold it in half just to make sure of where you're going to be doing your work. And then you're going to do an embroidery stitch down the center. So go ahead and get your tapestry needle and you're going to get your main color of your yarn and go ahead and put some of your yarn on your tapestry needle and then I'll show you how to do the embroidery stitch. Okay, so you should be back with your yarn that you're going to use and sometimes, like I said, you can iron it to make your line more visible, but I can see my line pretty well. So what I'm going to do is you're going to come from the inside of the towel right on the end and bring your yarn up and leave some on the back side for tying your knot and then your yarn is going to go off to the side just like that and then you're going to take your needle and then go back to where you had started right near where you came up and you're going to go into the towel and then you're going to go about a centimeter up in between the yarn loop that you're creating and then just bring the yarn out and you can see how the loop is closing down on the yarn thread and that's for your first embroidery stitch now for your second stitch just keep your yarn off to the side but you want to make sure that you go on the outside of your loop not on the inside so go on your outside of your loop and you're going to go down and you're not going to go all the way. You're going to take about a centimeter again, just like that. And then you're just going to pull it through the loop. And you can see how you're making a nice embroidery stitch. And then you can come back later when you're done to tie the knot on the other side, but we'll come back to that. So for now, you're just going to do your embroidery stitch and you're going to work your embroidery stitch all the way across the length of your towel. So I'll do a couple more with you. Go ahead and put your yarn off to the side. And then you're going to go on the outside of the loop. And then come up about a centimeter. And you're just going to do this all the way across.
All right, when you reach the end, just come back and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have reached the end. When you reach the end, you're just going to take and go into the back side of your towel. And then you're just going to tie a knot. And then what I do is I just try to weave my way in to tie the knot more into the towel itself like this. So I'll tie my knot right here. And then I just do it twice. Actually I'll do it one more time. And then you can actually weave your way back over here too and then just tie another knot. And then go ahead and cut your work. And then you need to go back to the beginning where you first started because you need to tie a knot there so this side doesn't come out. And then you can just cut this a little shorter so it doesn't show through, but not too short where it comes out, the knot comes out. And then you have your embroidery stitch that you're going to work your crochet into to make your towel topper. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to line up your crochet across the top, and then how I want to do it is I want to fold my crochet or my towel in like this because I want only this portion showing when you hang up the towel. So here at the top you're just going to line up your crochet because you're going to be working into these stitches and you can actually I'm going to make it a little bit wider to make the towel seem a little bit bigger. So then you're just going to line up your crochet at the top. And then once you've got it lined up how you want it, you're just going to take your crochet hook and also the color So go ahead and take your crochet hook and you're going to go in to both loops of your, your prior embroidery stitches and you're going to take your main color and just loop it onto your hook. And you're going to bring it through both. And then you're just going to tie a knot. And then you're going to go ahead and just do a single chain and then do one more single chain in the same stitch and at the same time you're going to bury your yarn, loose yarn end as you're working. So in the same stitch we're going to do another single chain to yarn over and go through both loops. 
And then you're going to go into the next stitch, embroidery stitch, and make sure you go into both the front and the back. And at the same time, you're burying that loose yarn in in between. And then you're going to yarn over, two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through both for a single chain, and then go through the same stitch. You're going to do two in the same stitch, two single chains in the same stitch, and then go into your next embroidery stitch, and then make sure you get the back. So you're working in both stitches and then yarn over and do a single chain and then the same stitch you're going to do another single chain and then you're going to go into your next embroidery stitch and make sure you get the back And then yarn over, do a single chain, and do one more in the same stitch. And then go into the next stitch, making sure to get the back stitch. Yarn over and then do one more in that stitch. And then make sure that you have it lined up for the next side. And it looks like for this towel, it's going to be lined up like this. So I have one free stitch, then I'm going to do two single chains into the next stitch all by itself. One, two, but then in the next embroidery stitch over, I'm going to go into the back stitch also. So I'm going to go ahead and line up that back stitch. And do my single chain. And then I'm going to do one more single chain. To get two into that one embroidery stitch. And now I have them lined up, so I'm going to go into my next stitch. And do two more. One, two, and then also into the next stitch. One, two. I'm going to do this all the way across. Just make sure that I have both lined up. Get into that bottom one. Whoop. There. One, two, And we're getting to our last couple stitches. Make sure that you get into both the front and the back. One, two, and then this last stitch. One, two. So then you have your 
first stitch holding your towel how it's going to hang in your kitchen. So now we're going to do the next row which we're going to do chain three one two three and then you're going to turn your work and then we're going to start on your second row so you're going to chain you're going to um, yarn over and you're going to go into the next stitch and we're only going to go into the back stitch so here you can see how you have a back stitch back loop and you have a front loop of the next stitch we're going to go right in between into the back loop so you go ahead and yarn over and then go into the next stitch into the back loop only yarn over you have three loops on your hook yarn over go through two yarn over and go through the last two and then yarn over and we're going to go into the front loop only so here you can see in the next stitch I went in between and then only into the front loop and then yarn over you have three loops on your hook yarn over go through two and then yarn over and go through the last two and then the next stitch we're going to go into the back loop only so you go in between and go into the back loop yarn over three loops on the hook yarn over go through two yarn over and go through two so this is a double crochet and you're alternating front loop and back loop so I'm going to go into the front loop so you only get the front loop only yarn over go through two go through the last two and then go into the next one see if I can get a better shot for you so we're going into the next stitch so we're going into the center into the back loop only yarn over go through two and then go through the last two now we're going to do a front loop so you yarn over just go into the front loop only now we're going to go into the back loop So go ahead and do this alternating stitch all the way across and then when you come back I'll show you how to do the third row. Okay so you should have reached the end and you can see that there's one more area right there that you can do a double crochet into so we're going to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and yarn over. Just go into that last stitch. Yarn over. And then you finished the row of double crochet. So then you're going to go ahead and chain three. One, <clears throat> two, three. And for this row, you're just going to do straight row of double crochet all the way across. So in the next stitch, and here you can see how it kind of upslopes right there. You're not going to go into there. You're going to go into the next stitch over right there. So you go ahead and yarn over and go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over and draw through two for your double crochet. So we're going to do those a double crochet into each stitch across. I'll do a couple with you. So we're not alternating the front loop, back loop with this one. We're just doing a straight double crochet through both loops in the stitch. So here you can see the next stitch. Yarn over and you're going to go through both loops. So you have both loops on the hook. And then yarn over. 
You have three loops on the hook. Yarn over, go through two, yarn over, and go through two. So you're going to yarn over, and then in the next stitch, you're going to go through both. Yarn over, draw through two, draw through two. So I'll do one more, yarn over, and then you're going to go through the next stitch, both loops, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, and draw through two. Go ahead and finish your double crochets all the way across, and then I'll show you how to do the third row. Okay, so I'm coming up to the end, and you can see how I have two stitches left, two double crochets, so we're going to want to make sure that we get a, a um, double crochet into each of those stitches. So go ahead and yarn over, and then go through the next stitch, yarn over, and go through two, and go through two, and then we have one more stitch still that we have to do a double crochet into. So yarn over and go into that last stitch. Yarn over, go through two, and then go through two. And then you have a nice straight edge along the edge of the towel. And then go ahead and chain two. One, two, and that's going to be your first half double crochet. Go ahead and turn your work. And then here, same thing. You can see how you have a little bit of an upslope there. We're not going to go into that stitch. We're going to go into the next stitch. And we're going to alternate half double crochet into the front loop and into the back loop. So you're going to yarn over. And in the next stitch, you're just going to go in between and go into the back loop only. And then yarn over. You have three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And then we're going to do yarn over and just do the front loop of the next stitch. So you go in between that next stitch to get the front loop only. Yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through all three. And we're just going to do that all the way across. I'm going to do a few more with you. So you're going to yarn over, you're going to go into the middle of the stitch into the back loop only, yarn over, and then yarn over and pull through all three. And then you're going to yarn over and then go through the front loop only, yarn over, pull through all three. And then yarn over, Let's see if I can get a better shot for you, yarn over, and then you're just going to go into the back loop only. Yarn over and pull through all three. Yarn over and then we're just going through the front loop only. Yarn over and pull through all three. And then go ahead and do that all the way across and then come back and I'll show you how to do the next row. Okay, so you should be nearing the end and you can see I have two stitches left. So I'm going to go ahead and yarn over and I went in the back loop, so I'm going to do the front loop. Yarn over and draw through all three. And then I have one more stitch left, and it doesn't matter if you do front loop or back loop, as long as you get a stitch into your last stitch on that row, yarn over, and then draw through all three. And so you can see how it makes a nice, even edge there. So now we're going to do another half double crochet row, but we're going to do a decrease row. Go ahead and chain two, one, two, and then turn your work over, and you can see how you have a nice towel topper forming. And here you can see that your first half double crochet, there's a loop right there. You're not going to go in there, you're going to go into the next one over. So we're going to yarn over, and you go into the next stitch, yarn over, you have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all three. So now you have two half double crochet, one, two. So now we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over, and now you have five loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all five. And that's your half double crochet decrease. 
So now we're going to do two more half double crochets, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and you have one half double crochet. Next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, two half double crochet. Now you're going to do your decrease. And that's the pattern you're going to do all the way across. So yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over. Now you have five loops on your hook, yarn over, and then pull through all five loops on your hook for a decrease. So go ahead, finish two. In the next two, two stitches, do one half double crochet, and then do your half double crochet decrease and do that all the way across and then come back. Okay, so you should be nearing the end and I have three stitches left. One, two, and then three. So I'm going to go ahead and do just a single half double crochet in those last three stitches. So just yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then draw through all three. Yarn over, go through the next stitch, yarn over, and draw through all three. And then make sure you grab that last stitch because sometimes it's deceiving. You think you're done, but you actually have one more and it can ruin your work. So make sure you grab that last stitch, yarn over, and then draw through all three. And now we're ready for the next row. So for the next row, we're going to do double crochet, alternating between the front loop and the back loop. So go ahead and chain three. One, two, three, and then turn your work. Knock my video. Okay, so here you can see how you have an upsloping stitch there. You're not going to go there. You're going to go into the next stitch. And we're only going to go into the back loop of that stitch. So go ahead and yarn over. And then in the next stitch, you're going to go into the back loop only. And then you're going to yarn over. Yarn over and go through two. Yarn over and go through two. So you did a back loop, double crochet. So now we're going to go in the front loop only. So you just yarn over and then go through the front loop only of the stitch. Yarn over, yarn over, go through two, and yarn over and go through two. So you're going to repeat that pattern, double crochet, front loop, back loop, all the way across, and then come back and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I'm nearing the end, and here, since we had a decreased row, we're going to go ahead and just go into the one stitch there at the end. So go ahead and yarn over, go into that last stitch, yarn over, yarn over and go through two, and yarn over and go through two. So now we're going to start forming the edge going in for the towel. So go ahead and do one single chain. And then turn your towel. And then you're going to do one more single chain in the next stitch over. And then we're going to do a decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over. Then you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over. Three loops on the hook. You're going to yarn over and go through all three. And that's your decrease. So then you're going to do one single chain, next stitch one single chain, and then you're going to do a decrease. You go into the next stitch, yarn over, next stitch, yarn over, yarn over and draw through all three. So this is a single chain decrease. So we're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, single chain, next stitch, Yarn over, yarn over, single chain, and then we're going to do a decrease. So you go into the next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, and go through all three for your decrease. So go ahead and repeat that pattern all the way across, and then come back, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I have two stitches left, so I'm going to go ahead and do a decrease. Go into the next stitch. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, and go through all three. 
And then you're going to chain three. One, two, three, and then turn your work. And then you're going to do double crochet, alternating front loop and back loop. I'll do the first one with you. So again, here you see the up slope. You're not going to go into that one. You're going to go into the next one over. And we're just going to go into that back loop of the stitch. And then yarn over, draw through two, yarn over, draw through two. And then we're going to go in the front loop only. Yarn over, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over and draw through two. So go ahead and alternate your double crochet front loop, back loop all the way across. And then come back and I'll show you the next step. So I'm at the end and I have two stitches left. So I'm going to go ahead and go into I had the back loop. Yarn over, yarn over and draw through two, yarn over, draw through two, and then I have the last stitch here, which I'm just going to go in between. Yarn over, yarn over, draw through two, and yarn over and draw through two. And then you're just going to do one single chain and then turn your work. And now we're going to alternate one single chain and one decrease. So you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then go into the next stitch, yarn over, yarn over, and draw through all three for your decrease. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and do a single chain. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and do a decrease. So yarn over, two loops on the hook, Go into the next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and draw through all three. Next stitch is a single chain, yarn over and do a single chain, and then the next stitch will be a decrease. And you're going to do this all the way across. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, go into the next stitch, yarn over for a decrease. So go ahead and finish all the way across and then come back and then we'll do the next row. So I'm at the end and I have two stitches left, so I'm going to go ahead and do the decrease. So I'm just going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then go into that last stitch, yarn over, and then I'm going to yarn over and draw through all three, and then I'm going to chain one, turn, and then I'm going to go ahead and do another decrease row. So you're going to go into the next stitch, yarn over, and then do a single chain. And then your next stitch, you're going to do a decrease. Go into the next stitch, yarn over, next stitch, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over and go through all three. And then you're just going to alternate that again. I'm going to go ahead and just do it with you. So next stitch, single chain. Next stitch, decrease, next stitch, single chain, and then the last stitch will be a decrease, into the next stitch, last stitch, and then yarn over and go through all three. So now we're going to go ahead and just do double crochets for the top of our towel. So go ahead and chain three, one, two, three, and then turn your work and then you're just going to do straight double crochet all the way across so in the next stitch yarn over go into your next stitch so you can see the upslope stitch there you're not going to go in there you're going into the next stitch yarn over yarn over go through two yarn over go through two and you're going to do double crochets all across the top Yarn over, go to the next stitch. I'm just going to show you how to turn after you finish doing your double crochets all the way across the top here. And you can see you have one more stitch here on the end. So yarn over and just go into that stitch. And then you're just going to chain three. One, two, three. Turn your work. And then you're going to do double crochets across the top, the same. And you're going to do that. 
So you're going to do that for eight rows and then come back and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should have finished your eight rows of double crochet. So you can check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now you're going to do your little loop that's going to go around the flower. So you're going to go ahead and chain one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and I'm going to go ahead and do twelve. Eleven, twelve, and then you're going to slip stitch back to the other end of your double crochets. So just go into that last stitch, yarn over, and then you're going to slip stitch by going through the loop on the hook for a slip stitch, and then you're just going to finish off. So you're going to yarn over and pull enough to bury into your work. And then you're just going to take your tapestry needle and you're just going to bury this loose yarn end into your work. So you just take it and weave it into the work. And I like to go across too. So I'm going to go across here and just bury, bury it well into the work. And then just cut that off. So now you finished the top portion except for the flower. So we're just going to go ahead and finish the flower. You can see how it's going to look when it hangs up in the kitchen. So go ahead and put this aside for now and then get the color that you want for your flower. And I'm using this color that I had gotten. It's like a yellowish color. And then you can use the same crochet hook, the J6mm, and then you're just going to yarn over like this, and then I just hold it with my middle finger and my thumb, put my crochet hook in, and I also hook it on my finger, forefinger too. And then just yarn over and pull through for your slip knot, and then you're going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then you're going to slip stitch back into the first chain that you did. So you just yarn over, turn the hook upside down, and pull through both loops for your slip stitch. And you made a nice circle. So you're just going to hold the circle, and then you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to go into the center of the circle, yarn over, and you're going to do a single chain. Yarn over, and then go through both loops. And you're going to do that five times. So chain three, one, two, three, go into the center of the circle, yarn over, single chain, one, two, three, center of the circle, single chain, so that's three, we'll do two more, one, two, three, center of the circle, single chain, and then chain three, one, two, three, into the center of the circle, single chain, and then you're going to chain three, you can move the petals over, so you're going to chain three, one, two, three, and then you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch. Yarn over and then just pull through both loops on the hook. And then in that first chain three space that you did, 
you're going to go ahead and do a single chain. So just go into that first space, the first chain three space, and do a single chain. And then you're going to do five double crochet into that chain three space. So yarn over, go into that first chain three space, yarn over, three loops on your hook, yarn over, draw through two, yarn over and draw through the last two for your double crochet. And then we're going to do four more in that space. So yarn over, go through the same chain three space, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. Yarn over, go in the same chain three space, yarn over, And that's three double crochet. We're going to do two more. And last one. And then you're going to do a single chain in the same space. And you'd have your first petal. So now you're going to go into the next chain three space that you created. Yarn over and you're going to do a single chain. And then you're going to do five double crochets in this petal, in this chain three space also. So yarn over, go into the same chain three space, yarn over, three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through the last two. So go ahead and do single chain, five double crochet and single chain in each chain three space around and come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay, you should be back and this is how your work should be looking. So now, don't worry about this part right here because that's just your first chain and we'll be able to fix that um, as we go al with, along with our work. We're going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into the next petal, that first single chain that we did there. And then you're just going to yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. And then what we're going to do is we're going to work into the spokes around. So we go, we're going to go into the back of these spokes in the center. So you're going to go through on the first one. You're just going to go in between down the middle of that first spoke. And then you're going to yarn over. For your first single chain, yarn over and draw through both. And then you're going to chain two, one, two. And then you're going to go to the next spoke. Go behind it. And then yarn over. Two loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through both for your single chain. And then chain two, one, two. And then you're going to go behind the next post. Yarn over for a single chain, and then chain two, one, two, and you're going to go behind the next post, and you're just going to do that all the way around. Single chain, and then chain two, one, two, go around the next post, single chain, chain two, one, two, and then you're going to go around until you get back to the beginning. Chain two. And then when you split that first post, you're going to go in the other half now. So just go behind in the middle of that first post, yarn over, do a single chain, chain two, one, two. And then we're going to slip stitch into that first single chain that we did. So we're going to do a slip stitch, yarn over, and then just pull through both loops on your hook. And then you're going to go into that first chain two space. And then you're going to do a single chain. And then you're going to do three double crochets into that same chain two space. So you're going to yarn over, go into that chain two space, yarn over, 
yarn over and go through two, and then yarn over and go through two. And here, looks like this yarn, a little bit cheaper yarn. I'm going to fix this knot and then come back and continue with the flower. Okay, so basically I just tied a knot in there and I'll just work that into my flower. So then you're going to yarn over and then go into that same chain two space, yarn over, your three loops on the hook, yarn over, go through two, yarn over and go through two. And then yarn over and do your third double crochet. And you see my knot coming up. That's all right, I'll work that in. Go ahead and do a single chain now into that same chain two space. And then you're going to go into your next chain two space. And you're going to do a single chain. And then you're going to do three double crochet. So you're going to do single chain, three double crochet, single chain, all the way around, back to the beginning. And then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so you should be back. And now we're just going to go ahead and do a slip stitch into that first petal that we worked. So you're just going to yarn over and just pull through both loops on your hook. And then you're going to finish off, yarn over, and then pull through and just pull enough yarn to sew onto your kitchen towel. So we have our flower. going to get that back yarn there. Oh, here it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and take our kitchen towel now. And you're going to position it how you want it on there. You just take your tapestry needle and we're going to fix this inner portion of the flower so that that goes away. And then I have those extra pieces, too, that I have to thread through. But go ahead and get your long end of the yarn that you're going to use to sew your flower on. And then you're just going to take and position the flower. And it should be just below the area that you did your eight rows of um, double crochet, because you're going to fold that over to close as a button. So for your first area to go into for sewing in with your tapestry needle, you're going to want to go into the flower petal and then come out the back and then go to the other side of the kitchen towel. And then I'm going to come up through the other side through the spoke just like that. And then if you have these extra parts of the single crochets you did, I'll show you how I fix mine. Just go through and then sew them in place. Just like that. And then I just come up all the way around the center and then just sew the flower in place, just like that. So go ahead and sew your flower on. I'm just going to fix this one here to show you how I did this. So you can just shape it how you want it to look. You see it closes it up nicely. So go ahead and sew your flower on, and I'm just going to sew it around the spoke, the center, and then just take care of any of your loose ends of the flower, and then come back, and I'll show you the next step. Okay, so you should have your flower sewed on nicely, and you can see how the top loop will come around and loop around your flower, and your flower will act as a button for helping to keep the flower hang the kitchen towel to hang nicely on your stove. 
So here, now you're going to take your ribbon, whatever ribbon that you chose, and you're going to come up through the center here, and you're going to go ahead and just weave it through, and I weave it through three, double crochet, and then go in, and then come up behind one double crochet, and then three, and then come up behind one, and then you're going to come around the back, So you're just going to make enough to come around the back so it's not making the towel bunch up. Give you enough for the back of the towel. And then you're going to come around and you're going to weave in the same way on the other end. You're skipping three double crochets and then coming behind one, double crochet, just like that. And then what you're going to do is take your other end and just cut it when you have the size that you want. And then you're going to take the other end, the loose end that you just cut, and you're going to bring it up through the one double crochet, just like that. And then just make sure that you have the two ends even. And then make sure it's not pulling too tightly on the back. And then when you have it the way you like, you can go ahead and tie your bow. And then once you have your bow the way you like it, you just go ahead and snip the ends. So go ahead and shape your bow the way you like and then come back and then I'll show you the finished product. Okay, so this is your finished product. And um, you can see how you just hang it up and it'll look pretty on your oven. And then these are just some examples of some others that I've done. And you can see that you have different ribbons that you can use and then here's one where I didn't use a ribbon at all and just did it that way and then you can also make little hot pads to go with them with matching colors and these make wonderful gifts